Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So, we got the boss rush with Isaac on the last run. We still need to do it with Maggie, Eve and Samson, but let's do it with someone that we haven't got it with yet, because they've both got the mom's heart kill, which is fine, but I want to make sure the boss rush is knocked out for them as well. So, we'll play as Evening, because seriously, fuck Lazarus, nobody wants to play as Lazarus, he's probably the worst character, especially after Samson got that buff. So, the seed, let's just first of all, pause, and sticky note for me later, the seed, 4, 6, G, A, C, M, G, Q, oh, what have I missed there, C, I didn't get the C, C, M, G, Q, so there you go, 4, 6, G, A, C, M, G, Q, if you want to play along. We've got Shoot the Whoop and Starter Deck for an extra an extra tarot card and the Lucky Rock and an actual tarot card off the bat. The moon takes us to the secret room. I want to use that. For now, let's just go in. Two black hearts, good start, and then let's run our asses off with um, Eden here. Also, it seems like we've got another item. I know we haven't because it doesn't say that we have on the... Um, please... Stop making those. It says we've got an alright and because if you look at his forehead, he's got like the blue beads around his like a headband. We haven't got another item, so that's weird. But technology too. I'm not gonna complain about that. So we will quickly eliminate all fires. We might as well go to the secret room now, make it easier, because it can't be that far away. It wasn't. Two extra keys can be useful for golden chests later on. And as always, seems we've got to do the um, the boss rush. Let's get the timer up. 43 seconds. Even though apparently we've been recording for two minutes, but who knows? But yeah, let's uh, let's leave this timer up. Sorry if the timer annoys people. Don't worry, it won't be up for many more runs because we are going to rush through. Hello, gurglings. Hello, gurglings. Fuck you, gurglings. Uh, we're not doing that much damage. So the gurglings themselves, in the debate that is gurglings or dingle harder, fuck you, the gurglings to me are certainly harder than dingle. Dingle has tells and the gurglings they don't seem to, to be affected by any kind of knockback, so if they're charging at you, well, they also seem to home in on you, which I'm, I'm noticing there, but hey, that's okay. We still got a couple of black hearts, and with those couple of black hearts, we may be able to trade for a deal with the devil for a stronger item. Seriously, give me a gurgling on the first floor. Not cool, man, but hey, damage up, very cool, man. Let's go down. Uh, so we'll skip, we may skip shops like secret room. Yeah, we could look for secret rooms. We got bombs to look for secret rooms. But if we don't find the secret room, like right off the bat, then fuck it. We don't have time. We've got to complete the boss rush with Eden, get that knocked out with Eden, and then we'll have to do the boss rush with Lazarus. Oh joy. Oh joy. That's not going to be fun, because Lazarus is just god awful. I mean, at least with Eden, there was a chance that we could have got a powerful character. Like, Eden could have started with Mom's knife, because it's random. He might, you know, that was obviously... Oh, for God's sake. That was obviously very unlikely that he would start with Mom's knife, but he could have done. And this seed is good enough for boss rush mode because we've got a damage upgrade, we've got technology. It's good enough. And you know what? I completely forgot I've got I'm a fire and a laser, so we'll certainly use that on the boss. In our next item room, Toxic Tears, Dead Onion, Toxic Aura Tears. I don't get how Toxic Aura Tears work at all. I know they make our tears bigger and Maybe I have toxic splash damage? I don't get it myself. You know what? That's perfectly fine. Oh, don't know how I didn't get hit by that. I actually kind of dislike toxic aura tears. You make our tears bigger, and I think our tears do do more damage, but they're so slow. Several tears upgrades would be uh, very useful in this situation. Yep, yeah, with the golden key. Oh, oh. That's more than enough to make the shot worthwhile, actually. Uh, we're a little bit ahead of the clock, so you know what? Why don't we have a quick check in our shop? Shop! There's options. Yes, please. We'll totally take there's options. And we'll even put the rest of the money into the donation machine. 
because I believe we get some at 100 and we're only like 15 cents off 100 so why not eh? Why not? Um, secret room could also be below us so I know we're kind of fucking around but at least we're probably on track for the boss. That wasn't the secret room but that's fine because there's two more pennies which we'll probably use on the next donation machine. I'm just shooting this fire. There was um, a penny there but I highly doubt we're going to be able to go back for it. Because there is no time, we must, uh, we must go, we must go. So, Meat Boy, if you want to die, thank you very much. And now we'll take on our boss. Our boss is Monstro. Don't jump. That seemed to do fuck all against Monstro, which annoys me. So, Toxic Orateers, possibly a Spectral. I really don't get them. They seem to pass through Monstro. So, who knows? Who knows how Toxic Orateers work. Like, maybe they do damage as they're passing through. That's my only, um... That's my only... Estimation. But I'm... I don't know if I like... I don't know if I like the Toxic Onion. Dead Onion... It's like, it's made our tears really, really slow. But at the same time, Toxic... Does that mean poison damage? I think maybe if I see Toxic Tears again or start Dead Onion again, I'm just not going to pick it up. I can't tell if it's even doing damage. Because, like, we've got technology on, but look, the, the Toxic Tears are just passing through Monstro. Are they doing damage when they're passing through Monstro? I don't know. It's a good job we've got technology too, because that's uh, that's what's tearing him apart here. So Monstro's dead. HP upgrade, deal with the devil, please. Yeah. Halo, all stats up. Totally going to take that over the, the range upgrade. Oh, Krampus. Krampus, my friend. I love you, Krampus. You're going to be semi-hard to take out, but if we can get Krampus' head, that'd speed things along very nicely. Very, very nicely indeed. Oh, so watch out for that. And again, Krampus, if you can just give me your head, that would be brilliant. It seems our tears stay in the air for quite some time though, so I'd be completely satisfied with Lump of Coal, because I think Lump of Coal would do crazy damage with um, with Toxic Onion. But we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see what he gives us, because you know, Krampus' head better than Shoop the Whoop. Yeah, there you go. And um, the Lump of Coal would have been better than the, or would have been beneficial for our Sad Onion or Toxic Onion. That's okay. So we've got Krampus' head. Far better spacebar item, and it recharges in the same amount of rooms. Let's look for our item room. Let's look for our boss. A room full of spiders is not a... Um, that doesn't seem to do damage to me. It just seems to pass straight through them. I'm just... Yeah, I'm not picking up Toxic Tears again. That was dumb. That was real dumb. But I'm not picking up Toxic Tears again. They are garbage to me. He there. Should have picked it up. We we'll, may go back and pick it up. Oh, watch out for these dudes. But for now, let's just try and find our boss. Well, obviously, ooh. Well, I didn't mean to come back because I saw that drop, but hey, that's fine. We're at four minutes. There's our item room and our shop combined. We've only got three cents, so... The actual shop shop isn't really all that worth it, but it seems we've got an unlimited key. We might as well check it out just in case there's something we may want if the secret room's close enough. So, um, is that... Bobby bomb -omb, yeah, homing bombs. Five extra bombs, that's fine. We can check for the secret room as we're looking around. And in our shop, what do we have? We have the jar. Now, we've never picked up the jar, ever. So, I would love to pick up the jar just to have it for Golden God. So, if we can come across a couple of cents, that would be great. Now, we can't get across that without taking damage. Yeah, we got an unlimited key, so this is completely fine. Yes. Yes, I will take Bob's brain. Bob's brain is a scary item. However, it's a fine item. It's not the worst thing in the world. More bombs. I don't think we're going to be able to go back for the head. So yeah, Bob's brain will fire like that. And we've got to be really careful when we're throwing it. That key is, uh, that key has gone into the ether right now. Oh man. Oh man. I would really have just loved if the... Oh, come on. I would really have loved them to pay out with, like, two cents. Ooh, the Fallen, so... 
That caused the form to split. That was great. And there's a Bob's brain right on the, the first fallen, which is even better. So we are... Oh, that was terrible damage. But it's not red heart damage, so we may actually get a deal with Devil and get two items. We didn't, but we'll take up his hairball. So that might do some passive damage. It's better than the shovel. And we'll go down to the next floor, because obviously we've got to go as fast as possible just to make sure that we can get rid of that boss rush room with Eden. I would love to have found the jar, but hey, it's fine. So, this room has a lot of badness in it. Bob's head, if you would like to... Oh, that was close. Go on. Yes, yes. Oh, there's loads of dudes in this longer room. Don't like this at all. Uh, if I can just get the, the homing guys dead, that's fine. So, I've got to be careful because Bob's head or Bob's brain is going to be coming back any second now. It's back, it's back. So, if we can just get that to, to fire at anyone without actually killing me, try firing at this greed head. Come on, kill the greed head. Oh, nope, alright. Let's fire upwards. Nice, perfect shot, perfect shot. Oh, it's scary using Bob's brain. I will admit, it's very scary using Bob's brain. But one greed head left. That's fine by me. If you would just like to be deceased. There we go. There's a key, but if we don't get back to it, we don't get back to it again. Need to go as fast as possible. Need to find that. Um, need to find that boss rush room. That's a shame. I would love for Bob's head to make contact there. I think it would have got all three. Got two of them. That's all right. There we go. Uh, we'll pick up a bomb as we're moving around, and it looks like we will be going back for that key then. Six minutes, that's not that bad. That's not bad at all, I would say. We are on the Catacombs 2. So if we beat this by ten minutes, then we've got ten minutes to clear the depths one and two. Seems reasonable. You know what? I've got I'm gonna play this a couple of times because I still haven't unlocked the blood bag. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. So, I'll play this enough times just to get some money to go to the shop. Really? You pay out with this again? Well, I'll use it once to get there. I've got enough money for the shop. Oh, god damn it. I'll never get that blood bag. I will never get that blood bag. So, oh, you want the blood bag? No, sorry. We're just going to keep paying out with the IV bag before you ever get the chance to, to uh, have the blood bag. Oh, watch out for that. Okay, good, good use of Bob's head. And we'll try upwards for the boss. You're dead. Another bomb. All these bombs would be helpful for a secret room. Should we come across one? You know what? That's, uh, that was definitely a... a what's the name room? Lucky Rock. Yeah, this is... Ooh, yeah, I'm digging this. Look at our, look at our technology. It, like, has a... It, like... That's what you get for using Bob's brain. Two of hearts, doubles our hearts. Yeah, that'll pull us back to close to full. And Brimstone Baby. Okay, now we've got a good chance of getting that boss rush room. Um, hate this room. Hate this room. You know what? I think for uh, it, I don't know because you see this worm like spreads the spreads the technology like wider, so it can hit multiple enemies like how it hit those two spiders. So, if it can hit, like, two spiders at once, that's great news. So, we will keep it, because it seems to make our, our beam a little bit wider sometimes. Now, Bob's brain is back, so we've got to be absolutely fucking careful while doing this. There you go. It's perfect. Boss, please. Boss room, please. Oh, oh, oh. Boss room, please. Oh, that's a perfect, that was a perfect technology that was going through all three of them. Oh, watch out. So I know, like, I should watch Brimstone Baby. But I also have to watch Bob's head, and that's too many things to watch. It's going to be a double boss room. Oh, it's Bob's brain. Where's Bob's brain? It's not back yet. So, yeah, we'll use, uh, we'll use Brimstone Baby to, to work out this boss. Two of these guys, eh? Well, I'm not having... I don't like those guys. Meat or Squeezy? This is an interesting one. I'm gonna take... 
damage or the chance to get a deal with the devil. I'm going to take the damage plus HP. And we did actually get a deal with the devil right there. In here, the mark. So we'll trade that HP away for the mark because it will give us spirit hearts and or it will give us a spirit heart to keep us safe and it gives us even more damage. So our damage should be going pretty crazy right now. And we're, um, how far are we in? Eight minutes, that's pretty good. So if we can find the boss relatively quickly, that'd be great. Uh, I don't want to use a key here, but yeah, I had a feeling that it was going to happen. Oh well. A guppy, a guppy's head is fine. Maybe if we come across nine lives, we might take it because we haven't got that, eight, that much HP. Well, there needs to be like two guppy items. Oh. Now, this room is kind of scary. We've got to line Stone Baby up with like these uh, these guys. There we go. Nice, nice work, Brimstone Baby. Uh, this room is a room that I absolutely shit my pants at, especially because there's a lot of rocks around. A lot of rocks means Krampus's head. Oh, not Krampus's head. I just saw it moving. Bob's brain can fuck you over. No keys to access that, so sucks to my ass. Uh, this is human popcorn. Kill it. Okay. That's good. That's good. Just die. That's very good for me. There's an item room with... Oh, shit. It's you. It's you. It's you. You know what? That's what I think. That's what I think. That's what I think. That's what I think. Just, uh... Come on, green dudes. Don't throw bombs at me. Don't throw bombs. Don't throw bombs. Don't throw bombs. Thank you. <sighs> I hate that room. Right, well, that's one bony dead. I have to, again careful as shit because there is a there is a Bob's brain and Bob's brain plus rocks is not uh, is not a combination which is uh, very nice thank you little brimstone for for doing the dirty work broken magnet I think this wider technology shot is better uh, home and troll bomb no In the shop we can't go to either so that's after the cards boss room. It's the boss room. Oh, get pulled into the tractor beam. Is Krampus' head ready? I think Krampus' head. Ah, oh, it was one room away. Shit, I should have looked. It's alright. It's only the bloat. <laughs> it's only the bloat. Yeah, it's only the bloat. Okay, bloat, I'm gonna need you to... No! I'm gonna need you to... I'm gonna... You see, the bloat can do a lot of damage to me. I'm trying... That was the scariest shit, and I should not have done what I did there. Oh god, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes, the pen in the end. Jump. Yes, 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 yes. But I'm trying here to um, keep the spirit heart alive. Oh, he's, I can't go downwards or the brimstone's going to get me. I'm trying to keep the spirit heart alive to um, be able to get... I don't know how I did that. Okay, yeah, jump over here and I'll go. Ah, oh, it's all right. Don't lose the spirit heart. Don't lose the spirit heart. I'm trying to get the um, deal with the devil to maybe buy something new. Well, there goes our spirit heart because he's getting a bit of a dick now. Blow's starting to get a bit of a dick night now. He's dead. All right. Thank you, uh, Bob's brain. We didn't get it, but we'll take speed plus damage. The more damage we have. No time. We've got a little bit of time. Nah, no time. Let's just scoose the boss rush room. We've got enough damage. We've got more than enough damage. We'd like to go to the item room. Probably something amazing in the item room. And this is the exact reason why I did not want to... This is the exact reason why I didn't go to the item room. Because Curse of the Maze is a curse which I don't think we've seen before. And what it does is it'll... Um, It'll like, I'll go into one room, or it'll send me into another room. Bob's brain, Bob's brain, Bob's brain. Okay, thank you, little brimstone. We'll pick up that key. That's a key for the item room. Right, Bob's brain. Oh, really? You didn't get those? Right, that's fine by me. Can you get this one? Nope. Can you get this one? Nope. That's fine. That is completely fine. Arcade. Who needs to donate on that? 
put we can put a heart into the blood bank because we know that the there's a heart outside. Sure, we'll donate. Ah, oh, it jammed up. Screw you. That's okay because there was a heart here. And that was just because it was in the next room. Right, there's the item room. Zombies. Fuck me. That's the exact reason why Bob's Rain can fuck you over sometimes. I don't even mind if we don't get the mom's heart kill. I would like to get the mom's heart kill, but if we don't, it's fine because... Ugh, infestation. Yeah, if we don't get the mom's heart kill, it's fine to me. I just want to I just want to get to the boss rush room to clear it out with Eden. And then we've done it as Eden, then we can take all the time we want on uh, on future future floors. So Bob's, Bob's brain can't actually hit the brimstone spiders. That was uh, trapped in the middle. Somehow, that didn't kill us. There we go. What's in here? Oh, a uh, bicycle card. Two of spades. Doubles our keys. Um, God damn it. Doubles our keys. Well, we haven't got any keys, so... Do we use it to get two keys, or do we wait and hold it till we get more keys? Not sure. Well, there's a key, so now we're still just going to get two keys. There's a nice uh, little brimstone there. Trying here, because they're right in range of Bob's brain. Yeah, and I don't want Bob's brain going off in my face. So I've got to, like, go back and forth. And I still got hit. God damn it. Well, at least there's a heart there. So, shop contains... Boss room. Wait, what? I, I, I know I got hit there. I was just confused at where we'd landed. That's why I hate Curse of the Maze. Because it's just like, where did we actually just land then? So, pick up our heart. And uh, this room contains a pill bag. Ugh, no. That's kind of useless. I don't like the pill bag. Actually, we've not seen it before. We better pick it up for Golden Guard. So, extra pill room, and I think we get a tarot card? Why do we get a tarot card? Wheel of Fortune. We'll, we'll just blow that up in the boss room. Right. Then, we'll pick up our key. Boss time. Mom, just drop your just drop your foot. That's what I don't really care about. Stand in the middle. Three pieces of mom. All four pieces of mom. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. And we're, we're 30 minutes in, so we will definitely get the, uh, buh, 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 buh. we will definitely get the, um, the boss rush room. Wash out, the brain is back. Yes, we hit it. Now, I can't go into the devil room or the boss rush room disappears. Hmm. Right, so what do we want? HP up, that's pyro, that's not sacred heart. I know that much, and we can take this, uh, time limit off now. Mulligan. We've got technology too. We should make loads of flies with the mulligan. I think we take the mulligan. Now, we haven't got that much. I'm going to say, whoa, we haven't got that much um, HP. So we need to watch the fuck out in these early bosses. Like some of the bosses, like, um, oh god, I don't know how I didn't get hit by Gertie Jr. there. Well, technology 2 is doing what I said it would do, and it is making a lot of flies for us. Oh god, good junior. So fast. We could you we could have used a little bit more speed. We've got the damage, but we could have used a little bit more speed. Um, where is it? I'd rather just let it die normally, and then if we can if we can like Bob's brain, the 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 carrion queen. Yes! And eat a bomb while you're at it. I want the carrion queen dead. So you, oh, she's already in a diagonal phase. Beautiful. No red poop on the floor. That's great news. Get rid of this spider here. Get rid of that spider there. Oh, Bob's brain is back. So I wanna, I wanna watch out. I am using little brimstone right now because I wanna watch the hell out. There we go. And then that's the, that's the widow dead. Uh, Peep is probably the hardest one, so we'll focus on taking out Peep. And when Bob's brain comes back, we should have a, a good shot at Peep. Duke Flies is uh, coming round though, so Duke Flies decided to, to save Peep by taking the, the Bob's brain shot right on his face. So it looks like 
is going to be all little brimstone to take out Peep. Oh, dodge it. And Peep, one more shot, and Peep's down. Peep is down. Bob's brain is back. Watch the fuck out. Because Bob's brain, really? The blast assist didn't actually take damage? Or didn't split with one Bob's brain? Wait, the blast assist just died instantly. What the fuck? I just broke the game. It seems like way too much health for Loki to have. Because the blast assist didn't split, and that scares me. Oh, okay, I guess the blast assist has split. Whatever, then. Uh, where's Bob's brain? Is it back? It's not quite back. So we'll just hold off for a second. Now Bob's brain is back. So someone, which is Gemini, was the unlucky one, was getting... Oh, hi, Steven! Hi, Steven. How are you? I am doing great, thanks. Now we just got little Gemini. Will Bob's brain be back for little Gemini? Hope not. Because if we can get rid of, um, yeah, little Gemini, whatever appears here, like that Larry Jr., will um, we'll have the pleasure of being Bob's brained. So, where's the boss? Well, there's a Larry Jr. there. If possible, I would like to try and Bob's Brain Fistula. Yeah, let's Bob's Brain Fistula. When it's coming back round this way. Go on, Bob's Brain. Nice. Uh, it's splitting again and there's only silkworms, so it shouldn't be a problem now. Oh, they're all coming up here. Perfect. Perfect uh, usage of little brimstone there. So we're not doing too bad. Our damage is good. The mulligan is helping us out by making extra flies. Got to watch out because Bob's brain is um, is now activated. Oh, don't fire out Bob's brain. We can save. Oh, damn it, Bob's brain. I was saving you for for little Chad here. It's all right. But yeah, our health is uh, not the the best, but we are doing enough damage. Speed. We'd like a little bit more speed because I can tell that when war appears, we're probably going to get fucked at war. Luckily, we just took out um, little Chad on that charge. Bob's brain. Oh, why is he jumping? Bob's brain. Finish it off. Ah, oh, monster's jumping. Monster's being a dick. Come on, Bob's brain. Take it out. Yes. Yes. Who's next? Chubb and Gurdy. That's uh, that's fine. We've got 12 bombs. If I want, I can uh, I can bomb Chubb, which I will do. I will bomb the shit out of Chubb. Right, Chubb's dead. Now we just got Gurdy. And if we stay, like, down this side, I've got rid of the poops, and now we've got good shots with Bob's brain and little Brimstone, and we can just dodge behind this rock every time Gurdy shoots at us. This makes it very easy, and when Bob's brain comes back, that should be Gurdy down the drain. So watch out, stay behind the rock. And there's Bob's brain back. This should be the end. I we'll let Bob's brain fire, add them fire and brimstone. Wow, Gertie's still not dead. That was like two Bob's brains at her. Thank you, little girl. Uh, Gish and Monstro 2, the two which are the, the worst two. Again, try and focus on Monstro 2 if possible. Or just focus on Gish, because Gish is here. Watch out, Bob's brain is active and is on the field. Uh, pick up that spirit heart, we might still be able to get that deal with the devil. Yeah, I was worried that he was doing the brimstone attack. So, we're trying to drop Bob's brain on one of these two. That's not as easy as it looks. So, if we, you could all, if you could just, like, both stop jumping. That was a nice Bob's brain onto, um, onto Monstro 2. That'll have done some extra damage to him. He's got a brimstone beam. Well, guess what? So have I. I've got a little brimstone. Jump right over the little brimstone beam, what a dick. Oh, it's, uh, it's okay. Oh, I've got an itch. Just run away a second. Right, Bob's brain is back ready. So, where is Monstro 2? He's the one which I'm going to try and hit with the Bob's brain. Nice, perfect shot. But when Gish is on his own, Gish is easy on his own. It's just, uh, it's just getting rid of Monstro 2, which is the pain in the arse because he's got the most health. Have probably all of the bosses in this boss rush, with the exception of Gurdy. Because Gurdy's obviously got quite a lot of health, but we've hit Monstro 2 with two Bob's brains, possibly a third Bob Bob's brain coming in, and he's still not dead yet. 
which is crazy, which is crazy talk. Now he's dead, and now we've just got Gish to focus on. Oh, I actually didn't see Gish's bomb there. That was a, that was a very strategic play there, Gish. Put in your bomb. Make your bomb fly over your black creep so I can't see your bomb. Very strategic play. I, I, I applaud that, Gish. I applaud that. So, with this little brimstone, Gish is down. And now we're fighting the Widow and uh, Pin. Paul's brain will just hit whoever it can hit in this... Uh, it hit Pin, so Pin's probably going to be going down pretty soon. Uh, oh, for a second I thought they both died at the same time. If not, this next brimstone beam will kill the Widow off. And we're on the Horseman now, aren't we? No, we got the Hollowed. And, um... Got the Hollowed and the Husk. Really, that missed the Husk. Oh, bullshit. Uh, hey, at least it hit the Hollowed. So, when the Hollowed comes round, Little Brimstone can kill off another piece of the Hollowed. Uh, now we just got this one dude, which I'm going to try and get rid of before... Oh, God. These two. <laughs> these two... I want to try and get behind bloke, but this might be a lot harder than... Oh! The poop! The poop saved the bloke! The poop saved the bloke! Alright. Oh, shit, we got hit by an eye. It's alright. Mask of Infamy, piss off. You know what? Fuck you, Mask of Infamy. If you're going to be a dick... You're going to be a dick. Oh, I'm going to finish your heart off first. All the... All the bloke. Finish the bloke. Go for the bloke. Oh, the mask is being a douchebag. Fucking trying to deal with Peep and you're running around like an asshole here. Or I'm trying to deal with the bloat and you're running around like an asshole. Why you gotta be such an asshole? Fucking mask of infamy. It's alright though. Bloat should be, uh, bloat should be dead. I think the mask actually died. Maybe. Not, it's not. I can't see it on the arena anywhere. All right, we need to get behind him because Bob's um, Bob's brain is ready. Nice shot with Bob's brain and little brimstone because we're not always going to be able to do that. Although sometimes it is easier to like shoot sideways at the bloke when he's forcing himself to make creep or anything. So the mask of infamy did just die off screen. While Pestilence or while Famine's charging round, we'll try and get a uh, Bob's Brain on Pestilence. Nope, Bob's Brain's going the other way right now. So, where's Pestilence gone? I don't know. So, you're going to be our Bob's Brain person, and then we'll take out Pestilence later. You're dead, and now we come to Pestilence, coming to the last two rooms, or the last two waves. Pestilence should have, yeah, no head pretty soon. Then Bob's brain should finish him off when Bob's brain decides to fire. Or he's not fired. Alright, war! If I can, like, get the Bob's brain off on you really fast, which I couldn't, so it's fine. So we will uh, we'll try and Bob's brain death. Now, this is, uh, is kind of scary because Bob's brain... Shit. Bob's brain has fired... So we'll just uh, keep little Brimstone going on death here. Try and swing the hairball into him if possible. Oh, he's off his horse. Shit, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see him get off his horse. I was too busy watching war like charge at me. It's alright though. That should uh, kill death. That has killed death. And now we've just got to deal with war whenever he decides to appear. Or the horse. We'll little Brimstone the horse. And then we'll little Brimstone... Um, little Brimstone... War when he comes back round. Where is he? We're actually going to be able to Bob's Rotten Head War. Yes! Yes! Two good, two good passes there. That was not as good of a pass. The little Brimstone should be charged up. Right, now he's off his horse. Are we fast enough to get away from this guy? I don't know. As long as we can keep tripping him up, we are. Oh, Bob's Brain. Bob's Brain, finish it. Get the kill. Good, good, good. Here's the Fallen. So this is the last wave. We've just got to survive this wave. And it seems we killed the Fallen before. I think we've got a great chance of uh, finishing off this boss room. Stone didn't quite kill the Fallen there. It's okay. One of the Fallen's down. Where's the other one? Hi, Bicycle Helmet Man. So now, if we can spin this around, Bob's brain finish the pony. 
And we just got to use little brimstone to finish this dude. It's done! Undefined has appeared in the basement. Nice! And is that the wafer for half damage? It bloody well is! Lovely! Lovely, lovely, lovely. For a second I was like, Why, where's the hole down? But okay, there we go. Alright, that's the, uh... Oh, post Isaac stretch, even though the run's not over yet. But that is the boss rush done with Eden. So we don't have to worry about speed running with Eden anymore. Well, that means tomorrow you've got to speed run with Lazarus. Oh, fucking hell. Bloody hell. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll just have to deal with it. We'll deal with Lazarus's shitty damage. Well, I mean, I could always play as Samson and try and get the boss rush with Samson. Yeah? Or oh, you could do that. Fuck you, Diglets. I hate Diglets. For that exact reason, they can just pop up on top of you. Hey, as long as you stay there, Diglet, that's fine by me. Oh shit, there's a champion Diglet. Right, there we go, he's dead. Where's the, uh, where's this flying asshole? Come up on my level, bro! Because now, Brimstone in the face, the doors are open. The key. Yeah, don't really matter. Boss room! Is there a boss room anywhere for... You know what? This room is a room that I wanted to simplify. Okay. So, you're all dead. Little Brimstone will finish you off. And this technology beam will finish you off. He will think of value. And you know what? Just while I'm here, let's A, get rid of this Wheel of Fortune. Because it will not do anything for us. And B, take our pill. Speed down! We should never have taken the pill now. Thanks very much, pill bag. You were a great help to me. Oh no, wait, no you weren't. You were absolute garbage for me. Curse room, not gonna go to. We're already low on health. Ah, oh, room full of fucking diglets. That's gonna be... That's great fucking shit, isn't it? See what I mean? They just pop up right on top of you. It's bullshit. Bullshit diglets. Fine. Oh, more bullshit diglets. I don't know how I didn't get hit by that brimstone beam then. But we'll just simplify this equation and get rid of them all. Get that red heart. And with the wafer, I think we've got a decent chance at Mom's heart. I'm not going to say we've got the best chance, but we've got a decent chance at it. And with the wafer, we should go to the curse room because it's half damage. So that's fine. Um, I would use Krampus's head. Well, there's only one dude left now, so it's not worth it. There we go. Yeah. Do we? Yeah, because we'll only go down to half a heart ball. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Might get a guppy item. We might just get a load of spiders. There's a risk. It didn't cost us that much. And there's a heart here anyway. So, I said there's a heart here anyway. So, let's go back through this room. Which is just one dingle dude. And Bob's brain should easily take out these two fast dingles. There you go. Very easy room. With an extra penny. So I guess we'll try looking upwards for the boss then, shall we? Uh, don't want anything to do with this room. There we go. That made it a lot easier. Uh, so Bob's brain's back. I was hoping that we would clear that room before he came back. Versus Ultra Pride. So, I would love to get Bob's brain to fire at Ultra Pride. Just to take him out quicker. Ultra Pride actually hasn't got that much HP. The left hand has appeared in the basement. Haven't we killed Ultra Pride before? I swear we've picked up the left hand before. Haven't we? Oh, whatever. I'll still keep I'll still keep the hook worm because this uh, this technology that expands can hit multiple enemies. So I think it's actually better. But I'm pretty sure we fought Ultra Pride before. If not, whatever. We may be allowed a trip down to Shoal as well. I don't know about that. I hope we are. Or well, have we already got the uh, the Satan kill with Eden? I honestly don't remember. Uh, you know what? This room is Krampus' head worthy just to get rid of all of the riffraff. 
this a joke card? Well, you know what? You know what? We'll use that joke card on the next floor because that's basically a guaranteed trip down. So we'll kill Mom's Heart to get the Mom's Heart kill, and then we'll go down to Shoal to try and get the Shoal kill. Just in case we haven't got the Shoal kill with Eden, I honestly don't remember. Uh, Blast Assist. Blast Assist fine, even without Bob's... Or even without, um... Even without Krampus' head. I keep thinking Bob's head. No, we've got Bob's brain. But even without Krampus' head, yeah, he just splits and he's dead. And we're going to totally take the damage up. So down we go. We're looking for Mom's heart. Kill Mom's heart. And then we'll use the Joker card to go down to Shoal. Because I don't know if we've killed the devil with, um, with Eden yet. Arcade. The Game Kid has appeared. Finally, I've opened up enough arcades. Yay. That's good news. So that's, uh, that's the Game Kid sorted. At least, I hate the fucking things that pop up on top of you, it's bullshit. It's alright though, because we're only taking half damage, so I don't think we're going to have any trouble with Mom's heart, at least. Say it might be a bit tricky, but I don't think we've got any problem with Mom's heart. I guess we should see if we get a, a deal with the devil first. Like, if we kill Mom and get one, we can go down, then use the Joker card on Shoal. Oh, fuck this room. Thank you, Bob's Brain, you actually saved me damage there. But yeah, if we uh, get a deal with the devil on this floor, where are you going to pop up? Fuck you. Yeah, if we get a deal with the devil on this floor, we can go straight down, then use the Joker on Shoal and possibly get a, a nice high-powered deal. So, totally do that. Um, Bob's Brain, you're going to fly? Nearly. That's okay, because Brimstone Baby did it for us. So what about... That room can go fuck itself. What about Krampus's head? Well, I will use it on a difficult room, but I'm kind of saving it for the Mom's Heart fight because it'll take 50% of Mom's Heart. Uh, unless it's a room like this, which can just go screw itself. Because we've got all these dudes coming in on us. I don't like it. And it'll probably be really ready for Mom's Heart again. Uh, this room, very easy room. Because we just got to um, kill one turret now. There we go. Another big room. Lots of nubs. Interesting. Never seen a room whoop, full of nubs before. As long as we keep our distance, we should be fine as well. Bob's brain. Slightly scary thought. But as long as we keep the... Um, uh, our distance. They can't actually do anything, so we're fine. There we go! And we'll go this way for the boss. Two brain dudes. Is it worth Krampus' head? Well, no, because that one just exploded for no reason. Thought about it, but if it's just going to explode, then... It blew the door apart. Fuck you. Fuck you. Blowing the door apart. Oh, actually, we kill them rather fast when we keep uh, when we keep the beam on them. So, hey, that's fine by me. There we go. There's full heart six back to full health. Perfect. So, are we finding our boss room anytime soon? You. I'm so glad I've got the wafer. Strength. Oh yeah, we can keep two tarot cards. This is regular Dingle. You know what? Fuck you, regular Dingle. Probably harder bosses, but oh shit! Oh shit! Of course, of course. Well, let's fight in one more room just to get the the Krampus's head recharged. Oh my god! Of course, that always happens, doesn't it? Right hand, where are you? I hear you laughing. There you are. Fuck you. There's more than one. Fuck you. I want enough to kill it. It's alright, at least there's only one hand left. And as long as we keep running around like this, the hand's coming down, the hand's dead. Right, now let's go fight Mom's heart. Because that'll do quite a lot of damage. So spikes be lowered, into Mom's heart, round we go. There we go, good 50% of her health, already gone. Uh, so... These dudes, fuck you, Diglets! I hate the Diglets 
so goddamn much because it can just pop up on top of you. Right, Krampus' head. Get your Bob's brain, whatever the hell you're called, get in there and poison that bitch. So uh, we're doing okay damage to uh, Mom's heart. I did take some stupid damage, but it's not the worst in the world. She's uh, she's not dying as fast as I would like yet, so she's going to do a brimstone, a brimstone rotation. But there we go. Do we get a deal with the devil? No, the quarter has appeared in the basement, so you know what? We'll use strength. Not like I'm going to use it. Now, quarter, if you just disappear, and we'll use the joker. So, uh, yeah, we're going to cheat, and I'm glad I did. Thanks for the nickel Satan. We're going down to the next floor. So, a quarter should appear in the basement. Yep, there is. A quarter has appeared in the basement. Let's see if we can get the Satan kill. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a hard one. We haven't got that much HP, and things like that scare the shit out of me. We're okay, okay. The wafer is gonna help out a lot. Uh, so where would you use the? Um, yeah, I kind of saw myself taking damage on this room. So where would you use the wafer, Spyro? Not the wafer. Where would you use Krampus's head in the Satan fight? Good question. Um. <sighs> Probably on the legs if I'm gonna if I'm going to give an estimate because the fallen should be fairly easy. Uh, oh god, these dudes, these dudes. That's one dead at least. Oh, they're both dead. All right. Yeah, we can. Um, fallen should be fairly easy. This room is just uh, bullshit, so we're just going to eliminate one super breed. It did take half a heart of damage, but there's a full heart back in that other room should we need it. And hey, look! We unlock the quarter and we get the quarter first go. Perfect. Hey, there's half a heart here as well. So I don't like these big rooms. Super Raph can also give us Mr. Mega. There we go. Super Raph's dead. And this other Super Raph should be soon to follow. Just gotta stay away from him. There's a little brimstone doing its thing. If we can just get one Bob's... One Bob's brain on him. Bye, Bob's brain. He's dead. That wasn't the um, that wasn't the Mr. Mega, but it's okay. Inwards we go. Bicycle helmet man. Plus uh, vaginal flies. Vaginal flies are actually the thing that's <sighs> fuck me. They were the thing that was scaring me the most as well. Yo, do that. Moon. How to do it? You might say that could be quite stupid. That is very stupid. We don't want to do that. But there is a heart in the other in the other place, so that's why I had a look in there, just in case. And we'll blow this dude up just to see what this dude may have for us. Two pennies. And he opened a quick way back to this room full of hearts, or has a heart in it at least. And there could be hearts in the fires. That's not unlikely. Nope. That's fine. Right. So, no hearts in the fires, but there's a full heart in this room. Which I'm going to use a bomb just to extinguish this fire, because I don't trust myself to not get hit by the fire. And there's a heart in the other room, so we're still back to full health. God damn it. Guppy, why'd you show up now? Why'd you show up now? Nine lives would have been a lot better earlier. Uh, seems with this way we'll go up. So this was the bad. This was the poor choice to go. It's okay. It's a very easy room. Not going to complain. So we got a pretty good chance of uh, beating Satan. Maybe unlocking an item with Eden, but I honestly don't remember if we killed Satan with Eden or not. Nothing. All right. Interesting. A room full of nothing. This room. Oh shit! The fucking gate. No, sir. No, I do not want one your selling gate. I'm not having that shit today. I'm sure, Krampus' head will be recharged by the time we find Satan. Shit, Shoal has the gate in a room. That's uh, that's something that's kind of terrifying to know. But it's all right. All right, this room contains two bicycle helmet man and a blood bank. Now. If I can get a couple of extra hearts within, within the floor, I would love to attempt to keep the blood bag alive. Because if I can keep the blood bag alive... Fire. Oh, 
but yeah, if I can keep the blood bank alive, that would be great for me, because then if we get any extra hearts, I'll gamble them to try and unlock the blood bag. Like that, you see, there's half a heart, so we'll drop um, half a heart into it and play it. Come on, blood bag. Gotta unlock sooner or later, man. It's bullshit. Oh, God, this room. This room. This fucking room here. Down through the laser. I actually don't know how I dodged that laser there. You know, that's, that's just that's the way the cookie crumbles. Pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up, you fucking assholes. Okay. I think Bob's brain did do the poison damage on one of them. Just on that one. And we're just on that one. I really want enough to kill it. Alright. Come on. Pop up, pop up, pop up. Pop up. Not now. Don't do it now, because I've got Bob's brain. You're a dick. You are a big... You're a big dingle horn. A big dingle horn. Fuck you, skull man. This shit. There we go. There we go. The High Priestess will actually be useful. Yeah, I saw myself taking damage there. Oh, man. It's, uh, it's a close one. There's the boss. There's the boss. All right. Everything's dead. So, how do we do this? First of all, we go in. One, two, three, four. Drop a bomb. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Fuck you. It's all right. Bob's brain did what it was meant to do. He's chasing us. But he should. He should split. He should split. There you go. He's split. We're hitting both of them at once. Little Grimstone doing its work. Oh god, this is terrifying. Back up. Fuck out of here. Bob's brain, you dead. Um, so we'll use the High Priestess to, to take some health off Satan because he's just going to spawn right here and we could just be like, yeah, drop the foot on Satan. There we go. Bob's brain is ready. So if we can get Bob's brain to fire across the, across the map at him, that's great. And then we're just going to use Krampus' head on the legs and I think if we don't fuck up too much because there's still a chance that we can fuck up. Well, as long as we don't do too much of a fuck up, this is a. Uh, this looks like a. Oh shit. This looks like a potential win here. Bob's brain back ready and has landed its target. Little Brimstone doing work. Loves to say, alright, he's dead. So now when the leg comes down, I just need to know where the leg drops for the first time. When that leg drops, that was pretty good. That took out 75% of his health. So, oh shit, get away from the, the shock waves. We've got to keep moving. But well, the problem with the actual movement here was the bomb flies were directly on top of me. But Bob's brain did land and the legs are dead, so we have won. And um, there you go. Won. And you know what? I know we should go into the chest. I guess we've already beaten Satan with uh, Eden. I know we should go into the chest, okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm gonna try something. Blood bag. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the shit out of this till we're at half a heart, and then I'm gonna leave just in case we've had, we've played this, we've played these enough to unlock the blood bag. Come on, blood bag! I've played you so many times. Fuck you! Just give me the blood bag unlock, you dicks! All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go. I don't think we're going to get anything. I think we've guessed we've already picked it up as um, Eden. Chest activate, please. Isaac. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. For a second there, I was shitting my pants. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Good Isaac run. We beat the boss rush with Eden now. That's another one down. Good stuff. Good stuff. Get rid of those. And we have completed another piece of the Polaroid. So, I guess we'd already beaten it with Eden. But we didn't have the boss rush as Eden. Well, that was a good run. That was a fantastic run. So that is another boss rush down. We have only got a boss rush with Maggie, Eve, Samson and this dude to do. Maybe next time we'll get the Samson kill. 
because I, I really don't want to play as Lazarus. I really don't. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, but anyway, that's uh, that's for tomorrow. That's a decision we'll make tomorrow. May even do another challenge run tomorrow, but who knows? For now. Thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like, and if you're enjoying the series, feel free to subscribe, and I will see all of you in the next one.